bad guy, bad guy, catch me on a bad night Best know how to act, whiter, you might see my bad side Hey, wait, I'ma disengage Juju too so so where you gon' see this magician play Now watch me switch, I flip the script, unleash that inner rage And if I ever let Sakuna out, you'll witness pain Yeah, I'm a dirty fighter Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to a brand new video. So today we're doing a complete beginner's guide to Era of Althea. I will be showing you how to get from level 1 to level 100 in one day through some tips and tricks. If you find this video helpful, it will mean a lot to me if you could leave a like, comment down below, subscribe with post notifications on, and let's get into it, right? So once you spawn into Era of Althea, there are a few things you should know. You will start in the beginner town. I forgot which town this is called, but again, it doesn't matter much. So there are a few things you want to know first. First, uh, I want you to press M and figure out what you have, right? So first you see this, these are your stats on the left. You spawn in with random stats, but if you have max magic amount and max cleverness from the get-go, it either means you're very lucky or you have a four leaf clover. If you want to see what type of clover you have in, what's it called? What the amount of clovers you have on your grimoire, you can just press E and then your, your grimoire will open up. I have a four leaf clover. This is, means I have max magic, max magic amount and max cleverness. No matter if I respin my stats or not, it will always stay the same. Some people might not be lucky enough to get a four leaf clover and they will get a three leaf clover, meaning that what's it called? Their stats are pretty much randomized. Sure, uh, certain races does do give you like stat boost, like nobles give me a more magic amount than i would but society have a four leaf clover that doesn't mean much to me but if you had like a three leaf clover then that would mean like what's it called uh that you would that what's it called that would be helpful to you right so and uh, another thing uh having a four leaf clover you cannot respin your grimoire because you need to what's it called uh whatever you spawn it with is what you get you can try making alts until you get a four leaf clover but again i do not recommend that since it takes a lot of time and i think it's like a 0, 0.0 like a 0 0.1 chance of getting a four leaf clover so it's not really like worth it at the end of the day because you might get lucky to respin your stats so like i said um physical strength that's you know that says it enough magic amount amount of mana you got snap control is how fast you cast your magic and cleverness is how fast you might be able to get your uh magic so meaning like if you're like level 10 right usually you get your first magic around level 15 or level 25 i believe but now let's say if you're level 10 and you have max cleverness there is a chance you might get it earlier than someone else so like max cleverness mostly goes towards you learning your magic earlier than other people it's not that great in my opinion but what can you do next uh we have your basic inventory you have your equipment like sword and shield i believe yeah sword and shield this is the party icon this is your armor and here is like your items and then here's like the dev products you can stat respin race respin snap reskin obviously there's no grimoire respins on this uh dev products again not that much pay to win in my opinion but uh and then right here is the most important thing that you will want to like what's it called figure out is d decks this allows you to convert the d decks points that you get your d points and the way you get d points is from you know what's it called exploring and finding out new things so every time you kill a mob for the first time you will get d points every time you what's it called have an interaction with certain npcs or create a guild you will get d points so every time you f find out something new like a new interaction a new weapon or like new stuff you will get d points and you can convert that into levels or exp so let's say if you sold what i would recommend you doing from the get-go first look at armors uh, talk to the blacksmith and obviously buy a weapon. Uh, another thing is uh, get a quest from the quest board. Uh, buy uh, what's it called? Mana potion and mana pots if you have enough money. Talk to uh, what's it called? The guild master. Uh, what's it called? Fight the monsters. Even if like go get the quest for the dire wolf. Fight the dire wolves first and then you would be able to what's it called? Uh, then what's it called? Once you get to like once you fight the dire wolves. And then what's it called? You should get like from the first question it should be from like the first question should give you like around like two to four levels. And then what's it called? Once you fight the dialogues, you get D points for all of that from all those interactions that I mentioned earlier. You should be able to get from level 15. That should give you like around level 15, level 14. Then you can do the dire wolf quest for the what's it called? The dire wolf's quest that will give you what's it called? Uh, this will give you what's it called? Uh, this will go, makes you fight the leader of the dire wolf, so the dire your wolf king, I like to call him. It's a black wolf, pretty big. Uh, you fight that till you're level 25, and again, you get D points. Of course, use your D points till you once you get that. 
and another thing and then you get you do the quest for the orc for the orcs you fight that till you're level 40 i recommend you doing this quest till you are level 40 and once you're level 40 then you are fine and then what's it called you also get d points for fighting the orcs and getting a new what's it called people and around then that should get you to like with all the d points you've accumulated and like used throughout like the entire thing you should get what like around level 42 level 42 43 ish all right once you're level 43 you're gonna want to head towards the back of the village because this is where you want to go for the main aspect and this will be where your second town and second part of quest will be and where your new interactions for d points and you will get more stuff in your d decks uh, I would recommend doing the level 15 quest first off that you find over there because it is different from the level 15 quest that you find over here uh, because that level 15 quest over there makes makes you fight golems and again since it is a new mob that is added to your d decks it will give you d points and you can use that to level up to around like 43 45 depending on how many d points you use and then also that the level 40 quest you get to fight abus with fighting abus what's it called a uh, you will get D points, but you also get levels. You'll get like one to two levels, depending on how close your HP bar, which is right here, is. And what's it called? Once you do that, once you get your D points and then your levels, you want to get that. You want to do that quest until you're level 60. And once you get that level 60 quest, you're going to want to head over to what's it called? Obviously, I'm going to wait till I get it to the what's it called? To the second town before I continue talking about the level 60 quest. But yes, once you are in the second town, talk to, uh, what's it called? Where is it? Get yourself some new armors, some new equipments, because those are going to come in very handy. If anything, I would recommend getting the self armor if you didn't get the boss drop. Because as much as like this gives you good defense, also, always get a shield also. As much as this gives you good defense, I would recommend going for the self armor because you, your speed does matter, in my opinion, in these games. To fight certain bosses, you need speed. And I also called the Venga. I would recommend buying great swords instead of short swords. I mean long swords. Long swords are better for PvP, but great swords are better for PvE, in my opinion. But again, it could still be like a magic main and support main. Also, you can learn the light spell, Lumos, which, which is one of the few rare spells that are universal spells and doesn't require you to like have a certain magic for it. You can use it. It's pretty useful for the dark. So once you get the level 60 spell, you're going to want to head over to what's it called the dungeon. But before that, you want to head over to the what's it called the third area, which is uh, the Alpha Kingdom. Once you get to the Alpha Kingdom, you what's it called? There's new armors and stuff, but they're not at your level requirement. I recommend doing both the first dungeon that you get from what's it called? Uh, from what's it called? Uh, what you may want to call it. I do recommend you getting the first done you doing it with other people because if you do not do it with other people it might be a little bit hard for you to do because if you do not do that and you don't like rely on people then like the first dungeon you're doing it by yourself might be hard. even if you don't have like even if you're not the type of person to have like a lot of friends that play this game or you're just like you like to play games by yourself because you find that therapeutic or whatever again that's you that's fine i did it with my friends but uh if you don't have friends, just look through the di to the Discord. You will find uh, you will find someone to help you, or you will, if you go there, you'll find people doing the quest there already. Just ask them, and they will most likely help you. Uh, once you're going to the Alpha Kingdom, you're gonna want to go head over from the Abu area, and once you get to the Alpha Kingdom, then like things are a little bit faster for you. I'll show you like kind of I think I'll sh try and show you the exact way to go because I have the wings which let me uh pretty much jump over everything hey yo these boys really trying to get me but yeah like i was saying um the higher your level the more love so like around once you're doing the level 60 quest obviously you should be like level 60 61 or so and you will be fine and everything hold on let me just see if i'm even going the right way because it's kind of dark but yeah you're gonna be like level 60 ish and everything um i do recommend though that you are careful with certain things because if you're not then uh you're not gonna have a lot of fun i'll be honest with you there so hold on yeah you're going the right way i believe no i am not yes i am so the alpha kingdom is once you get over to this area you will see the dungeon over there this is that's the level 60 dungeon but uh again you want to be careful because the alpha kingdom is right over this wall 
Uh, once you go to the Alpha Kingdom, hold on, I'm going the wrong way because it's dark. I cannot see. Uh, what's it called? Once you get to the Alpha Kingdom, then there are other sets of armors, but obviously you're not gonna have that. Your your equipment about to be like around like what? You're only level 60, and the uh, next sword and next like set of armor is level 75 and level 80 respectively. But again, there are boss drops like mana skins that do help you and gives you like you know a boost like the orc armor. I recommend you try and getting that. Obviously, what's it called? It's not a necessity because I didn't get it and like I was I was fine. But once you do get the quest, I, again, I do recommend you doing that. You, you can beat the boss fairly easily as long as you dodge like it's uh, mana orbs that when it shoots at you and then you pretty much block its first few hits, the boss is very e easy. So you're going to want to do that quest to your level 90. That quest gives you two levels per completion from level like 60 to like level 80 something. Then around level 80, it gives you one level. Again, not that bad, not that great. Then you're gonna wanna do the, what's it called? Oh geez. Then you're gonna wanna do the level 90 quest. And from the level 90 quest, you're gonna wanna get, uh, what's it called? Uh, then from the level 90 quest and onward, you are going to be able to do the level 90 G -nice. The G -nice are not hard. Again, I recommend doing it with one more person because at level like 90, you're gonna have all your magic abilities and it's just faster. I recommend having someone with wind and another person with light, dark, or anything works as long as one of them is when you can do that very fast. You just wanna, what's it called? Do something like tornado fang and all that. And just get them all in a corner, like, grab all of their attentions and fight them again that's fairly easy and that's that's what i pretty much did and i got like level 115 in one day it really wasn't that hard um obviously it might not work for you now it might not work for everyone since everyone else has a different play style but this is pretty much everything that you really need to know for the game there are currently three kingdom well three uh what's it called towns slash kingdoms First one is, uh, what's it called? The Beginner Town, then the second kingdom that I showed you, which is all the way over there, and then Alpha Kingdom. I forgot what the name of the second and first uh, town slash kingdoms are, but this is Alpha Kingdom, which is the last stop. There's also Arena Mode. Uh, arena Mode, I recommend you using Long Swords because they are a little bit better for PvP. But yeah, that was pretty much the video. If you found it helpful, it would mean a lot to me if you could, you know, leave a like, comment down below, subscribe for notifications. And yeah, if you find my, if you want to look for more of my content, it will be on my channel. I'll, you know, just go to my channel and look. But yeah, I hope you guys have a very good day.